Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Saturday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to connect with three powerful decks of cards today to bring in a message around your journey, around you, what you're going through, what you're thinking, feeling, what guidance you need to know. And the same for your person, what's going on with them today, what are they feeling, thinking, what do they want you to know. And then we're going to connect with the journey as well. And I'm going to use moon cards to do this. So I'm going to bring in the Moonology Manifestation Oracle by Jasmine Boland because we're still feeling the effects of this powerful full moon and you're going to feel a big shift occurring between now and the new moon on the 9th of February. The transition energy where the water rabbit leaves and the wood dragon comes in. So you're going to feel any ascension symptoms that have been linking around. These are going to start dissipating. You're going to have more energy. You're going to feel better. And you're going to feel blocks and obstacles being lifted out of the way. So what's really been manifested today and what are we working on over the weekend? I'm also going to bring in another moon deck. And I actually got this free in a magazine years ago. And this is just a really great deck to use. I actually use this with the Ascension Angels level of my channel on Thursday. So I'm excited to bring this deck in as well. And also we're going to bring in the Happiness Coach cards. This is a great deck by Laura Ansel, the Happiness Coach, or Laura Bird. Um, it's just a beautiful deck of cards. So, and if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So what's the energy around you today? What do we need to be aware of on this Super Saturday What's the energy around you? I want a clear card, please, angels. And there it is. And the energy around your person today. What do we need to know? Flying out of the deck. Flying out of that. deck. Quite a few cards there. And then the energy around the journey itself. There we go. So the journey is like the journey you're on, the journey they are on, the connection, what you're manifesting together, that kind of thing. So the energy around you today, what do we need to know for you today? We've got one card. The energy around your person today, the energy around your person. I've got two cards coming out here. Let me just grab them. And I've got a third card coming out on top, so I'm going to take that. And then an energy around the journey itself there we go and the same take that so you know there may be a take that song that resonates with your journey you may hear that today i just feel that will resonate with someone watching and then we're going to use the moonology manifestation cards for an energy around you today and what you need to be aware of jump straight out the energy around your person today and what they need to be aware of or what we need to be aware of about them today jumping out again and then the energy around the journey itself. Wow, flying out of the deck, amazing. So just picking those up. And I don't know if you can hear in the background, but someone is sawing something somewhere today. It sounds like a tree's been sawn down, but I'm sure it's not a tree. It's probably there's some building work going on a few hours is down or something like that. But it sounds like they're sawing a tree. So what I'm connecting with is things being sawn down or cut the cords are being cut things are being released things are being moved out of the way you know imagine there's a tree in the way of the road and then it gets sawn into pieces so it can be moved easily things are being moved easily out of the way and that's going to be the energy that's coming in with this wood dragon as well so i'm going to start with the energy around your journey today now this is such a powerful card with the focus energy here Again, this card came up for Ascension Angels today. So it just shows how potent this energy is. Focus all your energy, all your energy on what you want so it can grow. So this weekend is a great time to manifest, to think about what you want to create in your life, to set your intentions. And I feel that you and your person are both in this energy today. So you're both focused on each other and you're both focused on what you want for the future together. So you're both focusing energy. So if you're thinking, where's their energy today? Their energy is actually focused on you. And they may be thinking, I wonder what he or she is doing today. Your energy is focused on them. But it's not in a bad way, like a desperate way or where you're stressing about things. It's in an excited way, like something is coming. Something is growing. Something is manifesting. Something is about to take shape and take place. And we've also got the blue moon it says now is a powerful time to set long term goals and sow seeds for the future. This is really powerful. Um, they say don't they once in a blue moon. So what I'm feeling here is something 
that you may have seen as rare or out of reach is actually happening now. And you may see that as your relationship, you know, building that relationship that you've been seeking with that, feeling like it's a rare thing or it's never going to happen. It is and it will. And now is this powerful time to think about it and focus on it. So this is such a huge sign that what they want with you is long term. What you want with them is long term. It's a goal to have that long term future together, to be together for the remainder of your you know, natural lives here on planet Earth. And for this to happen, we have to make time for self-love. Now, this is really powerful because this came in yesterday as well. So when we make time for self-love, we feel more balanced because we're giving to ourselves all the things that we feel we are missing out on or missing from them or the things we're craving from them. When we give back to ourselves and make time for ourselves, we feel more balanced. And that's what the Libra energy is bringing in there. So make time for yourself today. Think, right, what can I do today to make myself feel good, to enjoy this day, to feel more balanced? And if you feel depleted or drained on this journey, it's more likely because you're over giving or you're over trying or you're wanting it too much or too soon and you're being asked to give back to yourself. And the way you start that is by breathing. Breathe yourself back into the present moment. Breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. And it just calms your energy down and it brings you back into the power of the here and now. And when you're in the now, it means you've won. If you spell the word now backwards, if we look at that now word there, it's one, W-O-N. So when you are in the now, you've won. And they give me fear. So anytime you feel you're in fear, anytime you're in fear, you're always operating in the past or the future. Breathe yourself back into the now. And then you're able to leave the past behind because you're focused on the new adventures ahead. You're excited about the future and what the future holds. And that's what the Capricorn energy is. It's about new adventures on the horizon. Great things ahead. So you know, you can't move into your future if you're still holding on to the past or you're still being controlled by the past. Forgive the past and leave it there. It's done. It's grown you. It's made you stronger and it's getting you ready for what's to come. So instead of worrying about things, trust the universe, trust the plan for your life, trust the process of your life. Give anything you're worrying about or struggling with to heaven in exchange for peace. So what's the energy around you today? Look at this. We've got the door for you. A new beginning is upon you and it's better than ever. That door is about to open. Behind that door is everything you've ever wanted. Now that could be the relationship you seek. It could be a new opportunity at work. It could be a new job entirely. It could be a new home that you're thinking of manifesting. Whenever you're thinking about visualizing and focusing on the door is now opening, it's coming, it's happening. So this is such a powerful, in a way, it's an omen for you to say everything is working out. Everything is as it's meant to be and it's going to be better than ever. Whatever you're wishing and dreaming for and dreaming about and focusing on, it's going to be better than ever. But you have to be brave enough to open the door. Remember yesterday we spoke about being brave and courageous and taking a leap of faith and stepping out of your comfort zone, sometimes we just have to be brave enough to open that door. And Archangel Michael will give you the strength you need to open that door. It's important that you watch your energy and your thoughts. The Leo energy is about strength and power, courage, bravery. But if we go into our own head or we start caring about what other people think, we go into fear. And fear is a weak energy. Love is a strong energy. So it's important and it's an important time to guard against being self-centered or over-opinionated or pushy. So in other words, keep your ideas and your opinions to yourself today. Don't push things or force things. Focus on love, not fear. And that will open all the doors and breathe through the tension. We've just spoken about this because the Scorpio energy can bring a sting in the tail where we can say things we don't mean because we react to something. Or we react to something someone has said in the heat of the moment. So instead of responding with love, we're reacting in fear. So instead of reacting and causing more pain or more problems, breathe. Breathe through the tension. Take a moment to relax and calm your energy down. Especially if you're feeling very emotional today or 
you know, there's tea or energy around if you're feeling a bit weepy or a bit emotional, relax. Relax your mind. It may be a day off today. It may be a time that you can relax and breathe and meditate and reflect and get your energy back. And maybe you want to go into a meditative state and visualize that door. Or maybe you want to think about this door and think, okay, what's behind that door for me? What do I want to focus on and create today? If I could open a door today and there could be anything behind that door, what would it be? Would it be your person? Would it be the relationship with them? Would it be something else? Would it be a new job? Would it be an amount of money? Would it be a new car or a new home or a new life? What would it be behind that door? Because that's what you're manifesting. And the angel's saying relax because it is manifesting. It is happening. There's no need to fear or worry or go into doubt because all is well. And everything is exactly as it's meant to be. Now look at the energy around your person here for powerful. We've got self-love and we've been talking about self-love. We've just spoken about self-love and how important it is to give back to the self, to make time for self-love. So when you love yourself, you'll attract love into your life. So this is so potent and powerful right now because they are working on loving their self. And when they are doing that, it's able to give them the power to take back their control. So if you feel that you're trying to control something right now, it needs to be released. So the angels are asking you today to relax about things, to breathe through the tension and allow them to take their control back. Allow them to move things forward. And it may feel like they're the ones in control, but you have so much power over this situation because you have the power of prayer and the power of thought. So what he's saying to you is, I want to control my thoughts now. I'm working on self-love to move things forward. So if you feel a little bit desperate today, you're going to start to feel relief soon about this situation. And I feel your person is feeling a little bit desperate. You know, they don't want to lose you. And they definitely don't want to hurt you again. And they feel bad about what's happened. So they want to move forward and apologize to you. And they may feel a bit desperate about that. And if you feel a bit desperate about things today, if you're thinking, when's this going to happen? When is it going to move forward? When are they going to contact me? All of these things. Breathe and give it to God. Pray about it. Give it to heaven. And be around people who get you because the tribe energy is your soul family. That's why you're here on Guided by Angels, because we're here to help. You know, the angels, me, or the people in the comments section, we're here to help you know that you are heard, seen, and understood. And your person right now is being guided to a tribe, to like-minded beings. They are releasing the past. They want to be around you. They are asking the universe to start bringing in like-minded people. And really, that's why they're on their way to you, on their way home to you, because you're one of those people, you get them and see them and understand them in ways that nobody else can. So they are coming home to you. And home is not a building or a location, it's a feeling. It's not a place, it's a feeling. And this is a big sign of them moving towards you and changing, that they've remembered who they truly are and they've allowed that to happen and now they're moving forward. Now, it's not all easy because they may still be going through ascension. We've got issues surrounding health and exercise may come to the, the core or the fore. It's coming forward. Focus on your physical well-being. So your person could well be dealing with ascension still, going through things physical that's affecting their feelings, their emotions, their circumstances. So they may well be waiting until they feel better to take action towards you, but they will take action towards you. They're feeling sensitive about this. They want to come towards you, but they don't want it to be a confrontation. They don't want it to be an argument or dredging up the past or anything stressful. So they're waiting for the right time. So when they contact you and they will, they will because they always come back, they do, then be sensitive and have compassion and empathy for yourself and them and don't dredge up the past. Instead, start thinking about that new beginning that the Capricorn energy is bringing in. This is about going on adventures together, enjoying being together. So your person saying, I want to put aside emotional concerns. I want to put aside any conflict or confrontation to make up for the past. And now what they are doing is focusing on achieving or increasing their financial security to be able to provide for your future. 
to think about what they want. They may have to attend to the details for that. They may be at work. They may be sorting through their finances and understanding what they need to do. So they can reveal what needs to be seen so they can express themselves and also be a part of the solution, not the problem. So it's time today where we see the bigger picture. We see it in a new way. And this is what they are doing. They are starting to have a vision of the future. They're starting to focus on that future to know they can have that future. They're starting to be very clear about it to set those intentions and remember to focus on what they want. And when they put all their energy onto that, it can grow. So if your person's a bit quiet today and you don't know why, don't get triggered by that or think there's anything wrong. It's a good thing because they are manifesting. They are thinking. They are working out what needs to be seen, what needs to come out into the open. They're attending to the details in their life to make changes so they can move towards a better future with you, a financially secure future. I feel this is a great message for anyone who's masculine has been in debt or, you know, if anyone's person has been in debt or struggle. And even now, you know, I'm trying to take the labels away and it's still quite hard to do that. You know, I just said masculine there. So remember, this is about focusing on the love and, and the feeling of the power of it. Focusing on you and them, not labels. And also knowing that finances, is financial, you know, it's just another label, having money, not having money. The point is, love is the answer to all things. Love is the answer. And yes, this needs to be equally balanced. They need to be able to support themselves and you support yourself, but you support each other. And that's the life ahead. That's what the Aries energy is bringing in, fire and action and power. And there could be some signs here too, you know, your person could be an Aries, they could be a Virgo, they could be a Capricorn, you know, I'm connecting with those signs there as well. I mean, this is for everyone, but you know, if you're connecting with those particular signs, this is definitely a big sign of power, you know, especially if you're a Leo or there's Leo energy there as well, there's shifts and changes here. But the energy I'm feeling for us all today, for everyone watching, is that this is a big message about reunion happening where you're going to meet up and communicate and talk and be together. And if you're waiting on that or it's driving you crazy or you're feeling a bit desperate, connect with your tribe today. Connect with your tribe to feel more in control of what you're doing. And also, we'll focus on self-love. Those are the details you need to attend to today. Focus on self-love, focus on trusting the universe and focus on leaving past the, pa the past behind and let the universe take care of the details and then what needs to be seen will be seen, whether that's an answer coming to you or a sign or a synchronicity so you're able to see the bigger picture and see things in a new way. When you're focusing on what you desire and it starts to grow, you're going to start seeing things that need to be seen. You're going to see previews of what's to come, answers. And the more you make time for yourself through meditation, self-love and self-care, the more you relax about things as well. And the more you breathe through the tension, the more doors are going to open to you. And things that you thought would never happen or were rare or would happen once in a blue moon are going to start becoming normal to you. And you're going to realize all the magical things are ahead. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.